These are the world's smallest Mandalorian Star Wars Funko Pops. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and I have all four waves of the Star Wars Mandalorian Biddy Pops. Let's take a look at these because I'm really excited to have these. I did collect all of the first wave of Star Wars Biddy Pops minus the uh, the Silver Stormtrooper, I believe it is that I'm missing. So if anyone has a, a Silver Stormtrooper, let me know. Send me a message because I've got something to trade. I think it's a Tusken Raider an extra Tusken Raider Biddy Pop to trade. So if you do have the Silver Stormtrooper, let me know in the comments uh, or send me a message on Instagram or something, but I'm happy to trade with you. But let's take a quick look at the packaging before we open these guys up. So taking a look at the packaging, the Biddy Pops for the Mandalorian are in that same color scheme as the rest of the Mandalorian. Funko Pop, so it's got the white with the orange pinstriping, the orange border around everything. You got the Star Wars logo, the Funko logo, and the Biddy Pop logo there front and center. And it does include a, uh, a carrying case or display case, which is acrylic, which you'll see in a moment, which I really appreciate that they do because these acrylic uh, display cases, they do stack and it's a nice way to display these Biddy Pops. Uh, so this is the first wave here. So this has uh, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, you got the armor and Bo-Katan there, and then you get a mystery one, which is a, a, a Grogu. One of the four Grogu's, because there's four different Grogu ones, because why not? Grogu is uh, is still the main character in the, the, the Mandalorian franchise, and he is still a cash cow. So um, this is the front of the packaging there. That's the top of the box. It says Biddy Pop, Funko, and Star Wars there the side of the packaging there. So you got three different characters that you can get. So you got the Fennec Shand, which is in another series, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, or Paz Vizsla, and then you got Boba Fett there. There's the back of the packaging. So there's the other two waves, or other three waves. So the, uh, the first wave there, it shows a Grogu, just a normal Grogu. So that's one of the op options you can get. So it's one in six chance to get this one. You got the uh, the next one down, which is the uh, the Grogu with the with the cup. I think it, that one's called, and that one is one in six as well. And that one is uh, the second wave of Biddy Pops there. So you got the Mandalorian, you got Quill, and you got the Offworld Jawa. The next set there is Cobb Vanth, Fennec Shand, and Boba Fett, and then you got the Grogu with the the frog in the mouth, which is one in three chance. And then the last set, which could be my favorite set, Moff Gideon, the Incinerator Trooper, and the Dark Trooper. And then you got the Grogu with the cookies, which is also a one in three chance of getting. That's the other side of the package there. So you got Mandalorian, uh, the armor, and Cobb Vanth. And it says uh, four pieces in here. So... That's about it for the packaging. There's the bottom. It's a bunch of legalese. Kind of boring stuff there. But that's the packaging. So let's get this first wave open and we'll take a closer look at it. So first off, there is that acrylic stand you get. The acrylic display case or base and uh yeah it says funko at the top there it's a nice hard acrylic there's holes in the back so you can pop the bitty pops out but i will show those in a moment so let's set that aside so there's the first bitty pop in the first wave so it's the heaven heavy infantry mandalorian or paz vizsla and again i mentioned this in my initial review for the the first set of uh bitty pops these things are incredibly detailed, especially the packaging. Like, they printed the the same packaging on this as they did, like, for the, the full-size pops, the, uh, the standard-size pops. So it's incredibly detailed. You can even see the series number there, which uh, Paz is, what, 3... I think that says 348 there. So very cool, very detailed, absolutely detailed. And you can pull these things off. You can pull the case off and 
get a better look at each figure there. So that's what Paz looks like. That's what the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian looks like. It looks very, very awesome. Again, very nicely detailed. I love how detailed these little guys are, but that's the first one. The next one is the Armorer, and again, really incredible detailing on the packaging. They did a really nice job of printing on the plastic, which is fantastic. Again, the packaging looks identical to um, the boxes that they, the standard size pops come in. And then when you take this one off, again, that just unpops there, unsnaps, and there is the armor again. Super detailed for how small these things are. Very impressive. I'm uh, I'm really impressed with these Biddy Pops. I really do hope they make other characters. I could use a Darth Maul Biddy Pop, Funko, if you are watching. The next one there is Bo-Katan Kreese. Again, very similar, very, very much almost identical to the, the full-size packaging of the pop, the, the standard size pop, even the top of the box. It, it just looks incredible. It's incredible how detailed these little tiny things are. And again, you can take a look at the uh, the character once you pop it open. So there is the uh, Bo-Katan Biddy Pop there with both blasters out. Again, incredible detail for something this tiny. And then the verse, first of the min mystery Grogu Pops. And something that I learned when opening the original set of Biddy Pop, Star Wars Biddy Pops, it's not much of a mystery, so it, I'm not sure. Like, I guess we'll have to compare when uh, when you see the other ones. But this one, uh, I'm guessing, is a regular Grogu, but they, I guess they could all look the same. They didn't do a really good job of, of packaging this one up. It looks like I can just slide the, uh, the plastic off, possibly. It looks pretty loose. Yeah, so there's that. So this is Grogu with the cookies. So... This was a uh, one in three chance. So there's Grogu with the cookies on the side. Yeah, and that's the top of the packaging there. So I'm, I'm kind of curious if all of them have the same image at the top just to uh, deceive you, which would be kind of a pain in the butt. But I do like the look of this guy. Let's see what he looks like out of the packaging. And there's Grogu with the itty bitty teeny tiny cookies there in his hand so one in three chance to get that one so i'm glad i got one of the rare rarer ones one of the um ones that are not as uh not you're not as likely to get so really happy i got this one to start wave number two The first one is, of course, the Mandalorian Din Djarin. Again, incredible, incredible detail on the packaging. He's coming loose there, but incredible detail on the packaging. I just love the uh, love the detail in the print work on the actual acrylic case for this. So, just incredible. I'm gonna say that a few more times, I'd imagine, but incredible detail on the packaging and then on the figure itself considering how tiny it is. Next up you have Quill, and this is one that I don't have the, the standard size Funko Pop for, which I keep meaning to get when I see him. I just really haven't, it's not a high priority on my collection list, but I do need to get a Quill Funko Pop still. But here's the, uh, the, the small guy, the Biddy Pop of Quill. And again, like, incredible job on the the prints on the packaging there, and then again, to pull them apart, he just unclips there, and there is Quill out of the packaging. Again, really incredible detail for something this tiny. I'm really impressed with it. Next up is the off-world Jawa, and again, I gotta mention how incredible the packaging is, because it, it really is incredible. If you, if you don't have any of these Biddy Pops, at least get yourself a set because it, it's just really incredible how detailed the packaging is and again the figure like it's teeny tiny it's incredible and once again the quote-unquote mystery Grogu um, there's the top of the packaging so it looks awfully similar and again 
I think I can just slide this out, maybe. Maybe not. This one's a little bit tighter. I have to break the seal. And it is Grogu. Again, Grogu with the cookies. So we got a duplicate. Not too bad. I guess we'll see what the other two are. Next up, wave three. So there's the Cobb Van there, and again, very detailed on the, the packaging. I love the the detail that went into doing the printed pieces on the acrylic here. Just looks fantastic. And then again, taking the, the pop out of the box, there's Cobb Banth there. And again, he just looks incredible. They did a fantastic job on these Biddy Pops once again, so bravo Funko. The next one is Fennec Shand, and this one I'm not too sure if it's the... I'm not too sure if it's the one that's knelt down. It kind of looks like it by the side of the packaging. Again, phenomenal job on the, the packaging. I just can't get over how detailed it is. And then if we pull her out, yeah, she is the one that's... That's kneeling down, or no, she's not kneeling down, is she? No, she's not, she's not kneeling down. So it's the one where she's standing up with her, her blaster. I think this is a, the same as the standard one. So yeah, looking at my collection, it is the same as the, uh, the standard size Funko Pop from The Mandalorian. The one kneeling down is from the Book of Boba Fett, but this one is exactly like the regular size Pop, so... An, Again, incredible job. The last common Biddy Pop in the set in Wave 3 is, of course, Boba Fett. And, again, really great job on the printed pieces on the packaging here. And then, if we pull them out, again, just, just incredible details on this guy. And the next Biddy Pop, and the next Mystery Grogu. Again, looking very similar at the top. I guess we'll just have to see. Let's pull them out of the uh, the plastic here. And again, it looks like it's Grogu with the cookies. Unfortunately, so another duplicate. And then wave four, which might be my favorite wave, or at least it has two of my favorite Mandalorian pops in this one. So let's open this one up. The first one, Moff Gideon, and again, just really phenomenal job on the, like how detailed this thing is, both the outside packaging and the the actual character itself too. So he's holding the dark saber here. So great job, even on the hair, like the hair on these guys. Nice sculpt work on there as well. The next one, and one of my favorite characters from these uh, these Biddy Pops, these Mandalorian Biddy Pops, is the Incinerator Trooper. And once again, incredible job on the, the detailing, both on the package here, because it looks exactly the same as the, the full-size packaging, and then on the character itself. It would have been neat if they were able to do the acrylic, like the, the, the transparent acrylic for the flames like they did on the full-size pop, but... I do understand that it's pretty tiny and, and that's probably why they didn't do it, but very detailed nonetheless. Next we have my favorite of all of these, the Dark Trooper. And again, just looks exactly like the larger version of the this Funko Pop. Just an incredible job on the details. And there... And there he is out of the packaging. He's looking really awesome. All right, and the last mystery Grogu. Hoping for something other than the Grogu with the cookies. But judging from the top, it's not looking super promising. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get it out without ruining the packaging. 
I don't think we can. And it is it's just a regular Grogu, it looks like. Or what is this? Yeah, just a regular Grogu. So we did finally get a different one. So that's the uh, that's the packaging. It just says Grogu on the side as opposed to Grogu with the cookies. So glad I finally got a different Grogu. So this is just the regular Grogu. So I do have the the standard size Grogu, and then I also have the 10 inch Grogu Funko Pop. So should be interesting to compare all three of them in an upcoming video. But that's the uh, that's the last mystery Grogu that we got. So there we have all of the Biddy Pops in a row. Um, this is how they display in the acrylic case. And once again, you can pop them out just by pushing on the the back through the hole and that pulls them out. So they just kind of slide in there and sit like that. And I do like these acrylic cases because you can stack them. So if I got the other sets here, I can stack them and they kind of, there's a groove there, so they, they do stack. So I can stack all four of them together, just like so, and just missing the two, so I'll have to wait until they get, uh, release the, the blind bags, because they do have blind bags for the first set of Star Wars Biddy Pops, so I would imagine they'll do them for these ones, because I would like to get the other two Grogu's, and if anyone else has opened these up and have duplicates of the Grogu with the frog or the Grogu with the with the the cup or the soup or whatever it is let me know in the comments because I will happily trade you one of these ones that I have but let me know what you think of the Mandalorian Star Wars Biddy Pops down in the comments if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and click to watch one of my other reviews thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you